ain't from Shot Town. I got a full clip. Don't get sniped down. Oh, you say it's your time. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, so it is. What time is it? it is 1:53 on Tuesday afternoon? And I just realized I hadn't picked the camera up in like two days. Um, basically, it's been the same. Uh, you know, we we. You know, we're struggling to figure out what we want to do for dinner and lunch every day because, you know, we can't cook stuff here. We don't have a big enough refrigerator to cook and store stuff. <clears throat> so it's kind of kind of weird situation. Um, we had a pilot light issue yesterday. Uh, the pilot light on the, the water heater wasn't lit and I couldn't get it to light Sunday. So we called the plumber. They came out yesterday, figured that out. Um, you know, the internet, we, we, it was slow yesterday. We kind of figured that out. So it seems to be moving pretty good today. Um, but we did get word from the insurance company that everything is good to go as far as starting to get back to normal. So I think tomorrow or the next day, the cleanup people are going to start coming and they're going to start cleaning up in the kitchen. Um, we did hear the insurance company ladies, our insurance rep, say that basically all the appliances in the kitchen that were affected on the, the side of the house that were affected will be replaced so everything is going to end up getting replaced <clears throat> you know i feel like the walls and the cabinets are going to get replaced too and when the insurance adjuster was here on friday he was measuring all the cabinets in the kitchen right like he was taking measurements of everything just in i, I imagine just in case they can't find the same cabinet they can get replaced all cabinets in the whole kitchen so carpet cabinets um appliances we're getting a nice little upgrade by this accidental lightning bolt so it's just a matter of when when they start so we'll see what happens when the cleaning people get here this week um just kind of go from there and, and take it day by day still been getting workouts in still been doing what we gotta do you know we've been doing some at the gym some here uh today i did all my workouts here um yesterday i did my weights in the morning here but my cardio at the gym with my wife um and it's just been kind of i don't know it's just been kind of weird but hopefully we'll be back into a groove soon and sooner than later and that'll be good tomorrow is back and biceps and boxing so maybe i'll get a little clip some clips of back and biceps i'll probably do that i don't know where i'm gonna do it i might do it here i might box first in the morning and then go to the gym later a little later in the day to uh knock that out i don't know um, we'll see but that's where we're at uh, and then thursday i'm gonna run i'm gonna i'm gonna do a special run it's gonna it's gonna hurt thursday but i'm gonna do a special run hopefully it's not raining too bad for thursday's run but uh i have a special distance in mind and uh let's go from there you know a lot of a lot of craziness happening in the world not just here at the house but in the whole world and hurricane season started yesterday, so we already got the first tropical storm in the Gulf. Yay, it's going to be a good year, right? You know, like 2020, Jumanji can't end. Like, someone needs to end this game of Jumanji really, really, really quickly. Because I can't, I don't know how many more, how much more of this we can take. But, all right, I'm getting back to work. I can't show you that, because classifications. He's out good. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. It's about 7.30, 7.35-ish. I am about an hour and a half later than I wanted to be. Uh, it's just been a slow couple days. I didn't set my alarm last night. Woke up at like 6.30. And then even though my pre-workouts kicked in like 10, 15 minutes ago, I just don't feel like working out right now. But I'm going to because otherwise I feel like I wasted a scoop of pre-workout. So I'm going to do my strength training, my back and biceps. Uh, I'm not going to record for that. I'm just going to put the music on, kind of vibe out, uh, get it done. And then I got boxing later tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to run tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know. It's just been kind of weird. Um, I don't know. It's just been, the last couple of days has been messing with my head. Not in, a, not in a negative way. It's like with everything going on, trying to process everything, you know, with what's happening in the world, what's happening at the house, you know, and I know cleanup efforts are gonna be starting in the next couple days, hopefully, to what we were told, you know, today or tomorrow, the cleanup company is gonna be able to come and start cleaning up, but I don't know, like, I guess mentally I'm just prepared for a long process, and 
It may not take this long, it may not take as long as we want it to, or, or we think it will, but mentally I'm just, I'm just not in a, a, the space I want to be in. Like, I'm, I'm not in the mentality that I want to be in right now, so. It is what it is, right? So I just gotta keep on rolling, keep on doing my thing, keep on, you know, lifting, keep on eating right, keep on working out, keep on keeping on, keep on staying focused on me and stay focused on the positive that's going on, uh, both in the house and outside the house and just kinda, I, I mean, that's all I really can do, right? So, um, I know the insurance company today, so another update, last night we got an email from the insurance company saying, you know, with everything was approved to a point, right? Now, this is where we have to list out everything that got damaged during the lightning strike, um, uh, appliances, you know, any kind of electronic stuff whatsoever that got uh, damaged, we have to list it out, um, and then the value of it, so I guess we have to like research how much everything costs, where we bought it, and this is for the payout, so I gotta test. If it was plugged in, I gotta go around and test it. So we're gonna test the Wii. I didn't turn that on yet. Uh, we have some other things we have to test that we just have, you know, haven't figured out what is broken and what still works. Um, so far, most of the electronics in the house work. There are a few that we found that don't, like my laptop charger, um, numerous iPhone plugs, my my new iPhone uh, 11 plug, which is like I guess a different type of plug. It's not like the standard USB to light. It's a it, it's just a really different plug um, that got damaged. You know, so we have to go and list everything when we bought it, where we bought it, roughly how much it was uh, it, it cost so that they can tabulate and issue that to us if approved. So that's gonna be a process for today, and hopefully we'll get that done tonight because uh, you know I kind of like to get that that ball rolling too. So. Everything is, you know, we gotta claim everything and, you know, the garage door opener, yay, that's another one that we gotta get together, so, I don't know, I, I should probably work out. Not in the mood. I just don't feel like it, but I will. Talk to you later. Hi, it's, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon, I'm actually gonna go run. It is humid as all hell, um, but it's not too hot. I'm gonna try to get a good amount of mileage in, more than I have been getting. Um, yeah, so it's it's like three o'clock in the afternoon right now. So we're yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I probably should have ran hours ago, but whatever, man. I'm not. No one said I was the smartest guy in the world, but here I am. So all right, before the next wave of rain comes, I'm, I'm gonna try to get this done. I'll check in when it's over and hopefully I hit the mileage I want to hit today because there's a really specific mileage I want to hit um, for, a, prop, for a, a legit cause and then I can shower. So I'll see you when I'm done running. All right, so I'm done running. And I think from now I'm going to do all my runs shirtless just because I kind of, I enjoy breathing, the humidity, the lack of nipple rub. I'm going to sit down. Fuck. So, run is over. That was that was tough. Um, I did a certain distance for a certain reason today. If obviously you've been paying attention to the news, George Floyd was killed earlier this week or last week or whatever. I don't remember the exact date. Probably last week, I think. Anyway. Reports say his, the cop had his knee on George's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds, cutting off blood or restricting blood flow to his brain. He eventually died, went unconscious and died. So, I know, here's the thing guys. I'm white. <coughs> I live in the suburbs. I don't have to, I know for a fact I don't have to worry about walking down my street getting shot, pulled over getting shot. I have privileges, a lot of which because I'm white, some of which because I worked hard, right? But I don't have to live in fear like some of my friends do, you know? I don't have to worry about somebody busting into my house and shooting because I met, matched the description of somebody that I wasn't, that, you know, that was caught weeks ago or whatever. 
I understand I live with privilege. I understand my, my kids understand they live with certain privileges. Um, you know, again, some of it's because we're white. Some of it's because we I worked hard as hell, right? And I understand the argument. Everybody gets to make their own path, right? But <clears throat> there's a lot of shit happening. A lot of senseless killing happening out there. You know, and this week with George Floyd and others that have died was just, you know, the icing on the cake. So they said George had, the cop had his knee on George's neck for eight minutes, 46 seconds on his carotid artery restricting blood flow, which eventually led to his death. Today happened to be night, like global running day or some shit like that that people claim. So I ran. 8.46 miles it hurt it sucked I wanted to stop I wanted to come home I wanted to cut it short I couldn't breathe something you know I was having you know trying to catch my breath was tough but I you know some people don't get that luxury you know that Ahmad was uh he was murdered running through his neighborhood because he supposedly fit the description of a burglar that happened two months before that, one time, and people wanted to gun him down because he wouldn't stop running for a non-cop. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about that, and I'm aware. My friends are aware that I know that. You know, it's just things that we things that we live with. You know, I ran down one of the main roads today, and not once did I worry about somebody pulling over to try to shoot me or run me off the road or hit me with their car just because I was running. So, I can't protest. I mean, I could go downtown and protest. They've been protesting silently, you know, peacefully for weeks. This is me, this is part of my protest. 8.46 miles to represent the eight minutes, 46 seconds that George was knelt on. Now we gotta start the conversation on how to end this shit. We have to start the conversation on how to hold these people accountable. And that's everybody. Cops, gang members, non-cops, whatever. Senseless killing has to stop. And if those and if people want to partake in it, then they have to be held accountable. No more defending this shit. No more coming up with excuses as to why it happens. It's got to stop. It's gotta stop. What's up guys? Alright, so real quick, just a quick update. It's late Thursday. It's about 20 after 6 p.m. You'll notice it's a little louder in here now. We got a secondary fan. Um, <clears throat> but the cleaners did come yesterday and today. Um, we could walk in the kitchen. Again, the cats can be out, the dogs can be out. They came and they cleaned up all the toxic shit. And they started wiping down the walls, which was good. Because we needed that, you know, they got a pretty, everything in the open area is what they're taking care of. But, we removed the carpet in the hallway, and just the hallway strip, not the living room, because they need to take the shit out of the living room in order to move it out of the living room. But when they did, we found this. Nice, wonderful crack. That's like a canyon in the foundation. That's not even a crack. That's a damn canyon. Now, if you look, where it goes right under the cabinet right towards where that fire was now <clears throat> I didn't see anything in the garage there's no cracks in the foundational wall there in the garage so here's my guess and we'll find out more when they pull the carpet up in the living room my guess is it goes into her bathroom around through the laundry room which we can't tell because there's stuff on the floor and it's gonna end up going all the way across the house this way. If I had to guess, I'd say right about here. Right about there or so it's gonna go. And it's gonna run all the way across the house to where the lightning hit underneath that white box. Right? And if you see, look under the white box. You can legit see that's the burn mark. So, it's going to be interesting to see, interesting to see the crack that goes across my damn house 
the canyon that goes across my damn house. And if it's coming in this general direction, I'm gonna be like, how do we, how, how the hell do you even fix that? So, we gotta wait till we organize the pack out people to come and they gotta remove all the furniture out off site. Uh, I think everything else they can kind of like clean it on site, but they're gonna like move it in different rooms just so they can tear up all the carpet and redo the floor, or at least tear up the carpet. I think we're gonna get the flooring done ourselves. We're not actually gonna put new carpet down. We're probably gonna take whatever money is, you know, they're gonna give us for the carpet, and we're gonna go get hardwood, you know, the snap-in laminate flooring. Um, just because we wanted hardwood floors, so now it's like, ironically, it's like the best time to get it because we're not actually paying for it. So, again, this is only day two of the cleanup. It is what it is. Oh, on, and on another note, woke up this morning, Woke up this morning, 229.4 on the scale, and that was after yesterday's run. So I, I'm probably gonna go back up to like 230 something, 232-ish if I had to guess. But after, so up until like, I just finished my second workout and I stepped on the scale after that. You know, I got done with that. You know, I've eaten a couple meals today. I have only 229.5, so maybe I'm not gonna go over 230 again. At least not for like the near near future so we'll see what happens tomorrow morning and if i can keep this up the next couple days um because i'm enjoying not being 230 because i was supposed to be under 230 like four weeks ago so next week's supposed to be my last week under two or in the 220s i doubt i'm going to get out of the 220s next week maybe the following week if i'm like perfect on everything and i get a hell of a calorie burn and there's no water weight and i don't cheat on my nutrition plan and all that other good stuff so but yeah that's the update for right now it's thursday like i said thursday night and uh here we are waiting on repairs